But Astronauts aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery have failed to fly swat their stalled satellite into orbit. Using makeshift plastic attachments on the robot arm, they twice managed to catch the satellite's power switch, but couldn't start its rockets. Discovery now approaching the equator here on orbit. The rogue satellite in view, Commander Bobko brought the shuttle to within a risky 30 feet. The one woman astronaut aboard, Dr. Ray Seddon, at the controls of the robot arm, dangled the homemade fly swat off the end of the arm, brushing it tantalizingly against the reflecting solar panels of the satellite. Here comes the switch, and now they find it already half on. Next time round, the swat tweaks the switch once. Broke a rung on the uh, fly swatter. Twice they did it in one of the most precise collisions ever engineered in space, with feverish effort over three days by hundreds of technicians on the ground and the seven in space, they'd done it. We estimate we got a hard physical contact on at least two occasions. And we concur with that. That was a great job. But the satellite did not respond. No antennae sprouted, no rocket fired. Twisting, abandoned, the shuttle now backed away from it, 80 million pounds worth of debris left behind. Despite one of the most successful technological and human endeavors, NASA's shuttle now prepares to come home with its success overshadowed by daunting question marks. John Snow, ITN, Washington.